Thank you so much, first of all, for having us. Um, but I remember during the offseason, we were all talking about this is going to be a new look offense for LSU and 471 yards passing. I don't think anyone could have envisioned that. <laughs> Was that what you expected coming into this year? Well, I don't know it would be that much, but I'm very proud of our coaching staff. I'm very proud of our football players, and we're excited to have Joe Burrow and the type of receivers we have. And you have to give our offensive line credit. They did a good job of protecting him. Well, Joe Burrow, he's been very confident. He even said after the game, we could have had 500 or 600 yards. Mm -hmm. We could have just kept rolling him out there if we wanted to. And now he's a part of Heisman conversations. How has this game changed kind of over the course of this season and offseason? With more confidence, obviously, in the spread offense, we have some short, easy throws. We enabled him to make some changes at the line of scrimmage. Steve Ensminger and Joe Brady are doing a fantastic job of coaching the offense in the manner in which we can get the ball to our receivers in space and let them make plays. All right, Coach, now you guys are the ones with the target on your back. I think you, you put the college football world on notice in a lot of ways. What is the messaging you have for your team now? There's no secrets about this Ferrari offense that you guys have down there in the bayou. Yeah, obviously it's good for LSU. It's where we want to be. The expectations are high, but that's what you know when you come to LSU. But we have to block out the noise. There's a lot of things we need to improve on, especially defensively. We didn't play well in the second half. So we're working hard on that today and this week. Well, speaking of defense, I don't know if you have room in your secondary room, but a guy who's like clawing at my back to talk to you right now is Ryan Clark. Apparently he comes to your practices. Yeah, your meetings. coach. Do you, did you want to talk to your guy before? Absolutely. You? Listen, Coach, I, I was at the, the fall camp practices. I predicted that Joe Burrow would have a breakout season. I saw the way Coach Brady and Coach Insminger were working together. But you know how it is in, in the boot, Coach. When, when you all start winning this way, the talk has been that this team has the offense to beat Alabama. How are you <laughs> keeping this team focused on just playing week to week and taking the games as they come? Yeah. You know, Ryan, you've been in our practices. We had a tough uh, – Competition Tuesday yesterday. It was one of the best practices we had all year. Our guys came out. I'm talking about fundamentals, ongoing skill development, uh, blocking out the noise, getting better. It's all about LSU and a daily process. Who's been the players coach that you've been leaning on for that? You mentioned a little bit. We talked mm -hmm. about Joe Burrow a lot, but, I mean, you had three receivers that had over 100 yards receiving. You've got a lot of leaders there and names that we probably need to be mentioning more as we talk LSU football this season. You know, Lloyd Cushenberry. Kelvin Chasso wearing the number 18, Michael Divinity, Rashard Lawrence, Grant Delpit, Clyde Edwards Alaire, we love to death, uh, Joe Burrow. Those guys have been some leaders on our football team for us for sure. Well, listen, coach, the, the one thing I'm excited about is to watch this offense. Obviously, the defense is coming along. Talk a little bit about what Stingley, Derek Stingley, has brought yeah. to this defense and the big plays he made against mm -hmm. Texas, coach, yeah. after having those great punt returns in game one. A lot of confidence. You know, as you know, Ryan, we can play man free. We can lock him up with the best receivers, and he's hard to go against. He made a tremendous play on the ball. The thing I like about Derek is that he was a coach. He came to us very mature. He's a playmaker. He's got a good head on his shoulders. He's an excellent punt returner. We expect more from the punt return game. we got to do a better job of blocking for him. I expect him to have a tremendous career here at LSU. Okay, Coach, just for my own entertainment, could you just hype Ryan up for the rest of the show on Get Up? Just anything you need to tell him to have a good show to close it out? Oh, I know yeah. what's coming. <laughs> what you got? Hey, Ryan. Yes, sir. Hey, we need you, hey, we need you to be um, ready to go today. <laughs> it's turnover Wednesday. I need you to go after that ball. I need to see some tackling from you, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. Go Tigers. <laughs> go Tigers. And go Tigers. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.